Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, hello Christopher, hello Brenda, hello Josue, hi Julia, hi Alba, hi hello. Julia. Sure. Hello, Brenda, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you tonight? Excellent. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Welcome again to this English course. And this is your class. So welcome again. It's nice to see you tonight. Let me ask a question. Do you have any problem with the platform? Any doubt? Tienen algún problema con la plataforma? Con algún ejercicio que les haya salido difícil? Is no everything okay? That, sure. Okay, that's great. Uh, yeah. What about the rest of the class? No hay problemas en la plataforma, en los ejercicios. No, teacher. No problem. Okay, no questions. Tampoco hay preguntas. Okay, I'm happy that everything no is okay. No question, teacher. Okay, I'm really happy that everything is okay on the platform exercises. Uh, just please don't forget that for this week, you have to complete the section number three and also you have to take the midterm exam. Ese es el trabajo que tenemos esa semana, ¿verdad? Completar la sección número tres y hacer, ¿verdad? Tomar el examen de medio curso, the midterm exam. Ese es nuestro trabajo para esta semana. No question with that. No hay preguntas. If you don't have any other question, let's start with tonight's class. Let me see, we are 13. Where are your classmates? Is it raining in the place where you live? Ya está lloviendo donde viven? Oh, yes. Yes, okay. No. No, en el caso de Brenda, no. Acá aún no comienza, pero sí se ve que va a llover fuerte. Y cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Si ahí hay algún momento que nos desconectemos de la clase, les voy a pedir que esperen, ¿verdad? Uno de nuestros compañeros se va a conectar con ustedes mientras yo resuelvo acá cómo regresar a la clase, ¿de acuerdo? En el caso de que suceda algo. Esperemos que no pase nada. So let's start with tonight class. Okay. Yesterday we were studying just no questions using the verb be. And also we studied negative statements or negative sentences using the verb to be. Tonight we are going to continue studying the verb to be. But we are going to study WH word questions or information questions. Les llamamos WH word questions o information questions. En este tipo de preguntas usted tiene que dar información. For example, what's your name? What is an answer for that question? What's your name? My name is Brenda. Okay, you say my name is Brenda. That's great. Thank you for your answer. Uh, I have another example. Where are you from? Where are you from? Uh, where are you from? from El Salvador. Okay, that's a great answer to I am from El Salvador or I'm from El Salvador. Uh, what's your, your cell phone number? Sorry, what's your cell phone number? My cell phone number is 785 Okay, great answer. Thank you, Christopher Raúl. Today, we are going to focus on the question, how old are you? Do you know the meaning of that question? How old are you? I am 25 I am years old. I am 22 years old. Okay, great answer. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we are going to study this um, kind of question, WH word questions or information questions. And the last one, what are you like? 
What are you like? Ya habían escuchado esa pregunta. What are you like? No, no la había escuchado, pero me la examen solo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are you like? It's me. I like to eat, teacher. Ah, that is a good answer, but for another question. Es una buena respuesta, pero la pregunta, what do you like? Ahí se te responde, oh, I like pizza, I like, etc. En este caso, what are you like? It means, ¿cómo es usted? ¿Con qué adjetivo se define? What are you like? I'm pretty. Oh, ok. Va, es más que todo acerca de personalidad. I know that you're pretty, but, but it's I'm smiling. Ok, yes, soy sonriente, I'm happy, I'm positive, I'm angry, soy sí, enojado. Pero Pri estaría, estaría incorrecto, ¿verdad? Porque es para hembra, ¿verdad? Handsome, Gen para hembra, ¿verdad? Generalmente se ocupa para, para las niñas, ¿verdad? Pretty, cute and beautiful. Pretty, cute and beautiful. Y para los caballeros, attractive, okay. attractive. Puede utilizar attractive, handsome, and handsome. Attractive and handsome. O oh, good looking okay. también podemos okay. utilizar. Good looking. Okay, so let's start with tonight's topic. I'm going to share with you the presentation. And the topic is a question. How old are you? How old are you? That is the topic for tonight. So let's start with this. What's the goal for tonight? This is the objective. In this class, you will learn how to form a WH question with the verb to be. By the way, do you remember which are the WH questions were? ¿Cuáles son esas palabras? ¿Quién se acuerda? Why? Okay, thank you so much. That is one. Who? Why? Okay, we have Who? why. Who? We have who, who where, 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 what, what, when, when, muy bien, when, why, who, where, what, when, y la que está en el tema, ¿cómo se llamaba? How. How, ¿verdad? How? Okay, what's the meaning of why? We have why, who, where, what, when, and how. Why? What's por the qué, meaning? Por qué, quién, dónde, qué, cuándo y cómo. Ah, okay, great. That, that is the meaning of this word. Eh, por qué, quién, dónde, qué o cuál, cuándo y cómo. Thank you so much. So, why is asking for a reason. Se pregunta por una razón, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Who, you are asking for a person. ¿Quién? Eh, where, you are asking for a place. Eh, ¿Dónde? ¿verdad? What means qué o cuál. And when, you are asking for time. And how, cómo. ¿Cómo? ¿Por qué? Sí, ¿Quién? ¿verdad? Yes. ¿Verdad, verdad que hay otro por qué, pero es el because, ¿verdad? Pero sí creo que es como para responder o algo así. Ay, muy bien, para la palabra why, generalmente se responde con because, 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 ajá, ajá. y de alguna manera me informal, cause, cause, informal. Teacher, excuse me, podría repetir nuevamente el significado de cada una. Yes, of course, no problem. We have why, y por qué, who, quién. Where, donde, what, qué o cuál, when means cuando, and how means cómo. Thank you. No problem, my pleasure. Okay, then let's start. Before to go to this topic, I have here an exercise for you. Eh, I'm scrambling the following sentence. Tengo desordenada la siguiente oración. 
y necesito que me ayuden a ordenarla. ¿Cómo me quedaría la primera? I have this play is nice, no eat in the article A. Es una oración negativa using the verb to be. It is. Va muy bien. It, no, it, 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 is, no, it is not it's a nice play. Ok, thank you, Manuel. It is not a nice place. Great. Let's do the second one. School is he not at. He is not at the school. Thank you so much. He is not at the school. Very good. The number three. Are not. Number three. Cats are not dangerous. Okay. Cats are not dangerous. Thank you. Number four. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Okay. I am sorry. Uh, is this is not, not cold? cold? Is this it or not it cold? Is? It, it is, is not cold. Ah, okay, it is. it is not cold. Thank you. Let's see number six. Phone is my new not. It's my, my not uh, new phone. Mm, you are? My phone is. My phone. Uh, it's no, my, it's my it's new phone. phone. My phone mm. not is new. My... Mm. You are close to the answer. My, my phone is new. Okay, excellent. My phone is not new or my phone isn't new. What's the meaning of that sentence? My phone isn't new. Lo compré de segunda mano. Second hand. So my phone isn't new. Isn't new. No es nuevo. <laughs> Tengo un iPhone, but it is new. No. no es nuevo. Lo compré. Pero Usadito. No Usadito. No, sí no salgo si ando. <ríe> ok, let's go. Teacher is dangerous. Dangerous. Peligroso. Cats are not dangerous. Los gatos no son peligrosos. O sí son. My are, cat is dangerous. Are the cats dangerous? Yes, they are yes, or not they are. Ah, okay. You say mine it is. El mío es. Very good job in this exercise. Thank you so much. Can you tell me to answer this question? Number one, are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? No. Yes, I am. Oh no. Yes, I am. You are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are teacher. Mm. Yes, I am. Okay, yes, I am is a right answer. Yes, I am or no, I'm not. Let's see the second yeah. one. Is she teacher, 24? I and which one? En la, en la primera. Ayer me recuerdo que le pregunté cómo hacíamos para responder. Si pues, responderíamos nosotros mismos. O como que responderíamos a la otra persona que nos estaría preguntando. Ah, pero ayer la pregunta era, era am I? Am I a teacher? En este caso es are ah, you a teacher? Are you. Eres ah, tú. Uh -huh. Ajá, es usted un maestro. O podría ser en plural. Son ustedes. Uh, bueno, en este caso no, ¿verdad? porque tengo el artículo acá. Ah. Entonces, eso es para sí. usted. Tú, are you a teacher? Mm -hmm. Then you answer, yes, I am. We say, no, I'm not. Thank you for your question. Okay. Is, is she you, 24? Teacher. My pleasure. Yes, she is. Or yes, she is not. Mm, la primera estuvo oh, excelente. No, she is yes. The second one is, no, she isn't. Muy bien. No, no she, she isn't. Uh, okay. she oh, is no, she's not. No, she... 
That's great. Let's see number three. Let me see. Is he from the United yes, States? Yes, he is. Great answer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, no, he isn't. Oh, Let's no, see he isn't. Number four. Are they students? Yes. Yes. Uh, they are. So we are. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Are we in the same math group? Are we yes, in the same we math are, group? Yes, we are in the same math group. No, we aren't in the same math group. Okay, that's great. Very good. Long answer. You say, yes, we are in the same math group. We say, no, we aren't in the same math group. Thank you. And the last one, is it your smartphone? Yes, it is. Oh, no. Yes, it is. It is. No. Yes, it is. Oh, no, it no, isn't. isn't. No, it isn't. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Eso fue lo que estudiamos ayer, ¿verdad? I can see that you remember it very well. So, let's go. Tonight, we are going to study these number and ages. Números y edades. ¿Hasta cuánto podían contar ya en inglés? Can you say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Infinite. Ah, hasta el infinito. Ay, that's great. <laughs> Qué bien, congratulations then. Ya pueden ir del, del uno al infinito, teacher. Yeah. Okay. So, it's kind of easy, right? La parte difícil en los números is from 1 to 20. That is the difficult part. Después, la cosa es mecánica, ¿verdad? Repetitiva. Uh -huh. Dice 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <coughs> Y de ahí voy a comenzar 31, 32, 33, hasta llegar a 40. Y luego comienza 41, 42, Four, 43, 43, ok. But at this time, let's focus on this part. Vamos a enfocarnos. Del me what's your question? ¿Cómo se pronuncia 30? 30. Oh, 30. 30. 30, 30. 40 o 20. It's like 30. 30. 30. 30. Mm -hmm. 30. 30. Vale. Ya vamos a escuchar el audio para que se practique. ¿no? 30. Vamos a, escuchar, a practicar después del audio. Pero en este momento, I need that you focus on the exercise B. Necesito que se enfoque en el ejercicio B. Hay unos números que se parecen, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, 13, 13 y 30, 30. Algunas veces tendemos a confundirlos cuando les escuchamos. 14 lo confundimos con 40. 15 with 50. 16 with 60. So, How can we pronounce this uh, in order that the other people understand us without any problems? So, the stress is really important. ¿Qué es el estrés? Lo que nosotros en español llamamos acento, ¿verdad? El acento. Notice the word stress. 13. ¿Cuál parte de esa de esa palabra escucharon más fuerte. 13. Teen. Ok. Y en la palabra 30. ¿Cuál se escucha más fuerte? ¿Cuál es la que está? Estrés. The stress syllable in this word. 30. P. La primera sílaba. Bueno, dice 30. 14. 14. Entonces es importante ¿verdad? que aprendamos esto para que no nos confundamos. 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. 
Entonces vamos a pronunciar más fuerte la sílaba donde está el puntito. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 60, 60. Ok. So we are going to see some example of these numbers in the following conversation. But don't forget about this, please. By the way, del 1 al 10, do you have problems? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No problem? No problem. problem. No problem. From 11 to 20, del 11 al 20. Ya no se problem. Va Ahí ya se va complicando la cosa un poquito. Dice, <risa> 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 101, 101, 102, 103. Ese and es opcional, por eso está entre paréntesis. Usted puede decir 101 o 101. So it's up to you. Es su decisión, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo lo va a decir? Es opcional. 102, 103. And no problem. Yo no me los puedo bien. Empecé de cero. Ok, I understand. No problem. Eh, on the platform, you are going to find a video. Van a encontrar el video donde está el audio que les voy a mostrar más adelante. Okay, lo vamos a escuchar un poquito más adelante durante esta clase para que usted pueda practicarlo ¿verdad? las veces que necesite. No problem. Let's make a practice. Any volunteer to read the following number? 51. Ah, okay. Josué David. 51. 51. Thank you. Uh, the next one? 45. 45. 45. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Christopher. Let's see the next Beautiful. one. 16. 16. 16. 16. Excellent. 16. The next. 28. 28. 28. Perfect. 28. The next. 89. Okay. 89. 89. 89. 89. And the next one. 64. 64. 64. 64. 64. And the next one? 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. One thousand. One thousand. <laughs> And now? One thousand. One million. One million. <laughs> okay, one million. One million. Okay, thank you so much. Era verdad, si podía contar hasta el infinito. Excellent. <laughs> okay, very good job. Thank you. Uh, let me make this. And let's continue. Let's go with the next conversation. In this conversation, we are going to find some example of these numbers and also uh, some question that I need to know. So take a minute to read this, this conversation and let me know if you have a vocabulary question. Si tienen alguna pregunta acerca del vocabulario. It's a conversation between Emma and Jill. We are going to listen and we are going to practice this conversation. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. 
What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby on the family. ¿Qué números podemos encontrar en esta conversación? Which number could you find in this conversation? 21. 21. 21. 12. 12. 12. And 12. Very good. Now, WH word. ¿Cuáles puede identificar in this conversation? WH word. Who's that? That is one. Thank you. Who's that? What he like? What he like? Yes. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Okay, that's great. Ah, so How old one. is? Is ah, he? Thank you, Jose. How old is he? How old is he? Look at the first question. Who's that? What's the meaning of that question? Uh, what are they doing? Right. Primero, look at the picture. What are they doing? ¿Qué están haciendo? Watch the picture. Okay, they are watching some pictures. It's an album. Some photographs. And then Emma asked, who's that? Alguien le llamó la atención, ¿verdad? En el álbum. Y ella pregunta, ¿quién es? ¿Quién es este? Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? Ah, muestra interés, ¿verdad? Él es atractivo. ¿Cuál es su nombre? James. We call him Jim. Se llama James. Nosotros lo llamamos Jim. 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 Oh, how old is he? ¿Cuántos Vaya. años tiene? Sí le llamó la atención, ¿verdad? How old is he? And she says, he's 21 years old. And what's he like? Sigue preguntando. ¿Cómo es él? ¿Cómo es su personalidad? Y dice, I bet he's nice. Apuesta que es buena gente. O tiene una personalidad oh. bonita. I bet he's nice. And Jill answered, yes, he is. And he's very, and he's very smart too. Y él es muy... Inteligente muy también. Inteligente también. Y luego Emma, en who's that? Ahora le llamó la atención a alguien más y pregunta, ¿Quién es? es ¿O oh, quién es esa? My sister, Tammy. She's Tammy. only 12. She's the baby of the family. Tammy, ¿es la mayor o la menor de la familia? Menor. La menor. Ah, she's the baby of the family. Let's, let's listen this conversation. Questions? No questions. No questions. No question. Okay, let's listen. Pay attention to the pronunciation and intonation, please. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his ¿Pueden escuchar la conversación? Yes, yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, let's start again. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. Yeah. Okay. She's the baby of the family. I need to learn to practice in this conversation. Who wants to try tonight? Let's practice. Any volunteer who wants to help me with this? Thank you, Alison and Christopher Raul. <clears throat> okay. So, Alison, you are Emma and you are Jill, Christopher. Now? You can start. Go ahead. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him James. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? 
I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's going to his mouth, too. And who's that? My sister's coming. She's only 12. She is the baby of the family. Excellent job. Thank you so much, Alison and Christopher Raul. Uh, do I have another tool on you to practice? I have Josue David and Delmi Arely. So, Delmi, you are Emma and Josue, you are Jill. Who's you that? can start. He is my brother. Wow, he's good. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And what's that? My sister, Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Okay, thank you so much. That was great. Thank you, Josue and Delmi. Very good job in this part. The last two volunteers, I have Alba, Rebecca, and Emmanuel Arturo. So, Alba, you are Emma, and Emmanuel, you are Jill. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's, his, what's he like? I beat his name. Nice. Yes, he is, and he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister Tam. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. That was great. Thank you so much for your help. Now, how do you pronounce the following word? Let me show you the first one. How do you pronounce this one? Let's see this. How do you pronounce this adjective? Cute. 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 Wow, cute. he's cute. What's his name? Say, wow, he's cute. Wow, he's cute. Okay, uh, remember that um, un idioma no es plano. Aquí, mm -hmm. cuando, cuando usted se sorprende, oh, then it's the same. We say, wow, sí. wow, he's cute. Oh, how old is he? Then también tenemos que expresar esas emociones, ¿verdad? When we are practicing. And the other word is this. How do you pronounce this? He's 21 years old. Years, years, years old. He's 21 years old. years old. Very good. And this other one. Nice. nice. I, I bet he's, he's nice. nice. I, I bet, bet he's, he's nice. nice. I bet. And he's very smart too. And he's very smart too. And okay, and the rest, it was okay. Thank you so much. Then let's go with these numbers. Who's that? Numbers, we are going to listen these numbers. Remember that you can find this video or this audio on the platform. So you can practice uh, the times that you need to do. Las veces que usted necesite, ¿verdad? Ahí puede encontrar el video, puede escucharlo varias veces hasta que aprenda la pronunciación correcta de los números. So, now let's listen. Solo vamos a escucharlo una vez. Just once. And then we're going to practice. So, pay attention. Listen and repeat. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. Eighty, ninety, one hundred, one hundred and one, one hundred and two, one hundred and three. Okay. Now I need a volunteer to count from eleven to fifteen. Who wants? Who wants to try? Eleven to fifteen. Eleven to fifteen. No volunteers. From 11 to 20 then. Ah, okay, Alison, can you tell me please from 11 to 20? Go ahead, Alison. Oh, sorry. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, or, or 20, no, 20, 20, 20, 20, yes. es, es, verdad que hay una diferencia de 20 and 20, 20, and 20, mm -hmm. ambas, la he escuchado ambas, 20 or 20, 20, 20. or 20, bueno, en el audio era 20, 20, 20, Okay, excellent. 19, 15. Thank you so much. Uh, Any volunteer to count from 21 to 30? I have Delmi Arely. Can you help me, please, Delmi? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, 30, muy bien. Thank you so much. That was great. El audio se escucha como que dice 40. Okay. Teacher, o es 30. It's 30. Let's do that again. Vamos a escucharlo de nuevo. Listen. Teen. 20. 3. 20. 27. 28, 29, 30. Okay, oh, it's like 30, 30. Okay. Okay, the next one is 40, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80 90, 90, 100. So let's listen to the last one again. 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 80. 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. Okay. Now the question is, how old is Talia? Look at this example. How old is Talia? And if you are not sure about the age of someone, you use I think. Si usted no está seguro de la edad de alguien, pero usted calcula, ¿verdad? Usted es I think. I think. Uh, I think she's 20. I think she's 20. Hay dos maneras de responder esta pregunta. Una respuesta corta, oh. donde, donde usted solo dice el número. She's 20. O usted dice she's 20 years old. La frase completa. I think she's 20. Or I think she's 20 years old. Teacher, ¿y cómo se escribiría cuando uno quiere como que decir cuánto se calcularía? Ah, es la frase I think. Yo pienso. Yo ah, creo. I think. I think. Ah. I think. Vale, let's see, for example. Um, 
nobody has bye tell me areli eh, how old is delmi areli no sabemos no estamos seguros entonces yo digo 19 19 ah sí 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 es 18 I think she's 18 Oh, yo creo que 20. ella tiene 18. 18. How old are okay. you, Delmi Arely? En este, en este caso, 20. Cuando, cuando la edad es, es bien raro, ¿verdad, teacher? Porque si lo traducimos literal, sería como que yo soy 20 años. Pero en realidad, se, se ah, es así es. En vez de I have. En este caso sí es mejor no intentar traducirlo, ¿verdad? sino que aprendernos las sí. frases que ellos utilizan, que se utilizan en inglés, ¿verdad? porque si lo traducimos literalmente no nos hace sentido en español. ¿verdad? Exacto. Nosotros utilizaríamos el verbo have, have, el verbo tener, ¿verdad? Yo tengo, tú tienes. Una pregunta. ¿Quién me Alison? Y se puede utilizar between. Por ejemplo, between. yo pienso que tiene 18, entre 18 y 20 años. O oh, no. Mm. Or I think she's 18 or 20. It's better to use or in this case. I think ah. she is. I think she is. Uh, 20 or 25, for example. Uh -huh. I think she's 20 or 20. I think she's 20 or 25. Okay. Podemos utilizar or. Okay, thank you. Okay. Bueno, más adelante van a aprender, ¿verdad? Si usted calcula que está en sus 20, 20s, se dice she is in her 20s. Ella está en sus 20, que incluye del 20 al 30. Pero eso es más adelante. Ahorita veamos esta pregunta. How old are you? Utilizando los números que acabamos de escuchar la pronunciación. Can you please answer this question? Any volunteer? How old are you? Then we are going to answer. I am. I am, de la manera contractada, I, el número de años y la expresión years old sería una forma. La otra forma solo es I'm y el número de años que usted tiene. Esas son las dos maneras de responder esta pregunta. Dice, how old are you? And you say, I am 25 years old. Or you say, I am... 25. And both are correct. So you can use whatever you want. Cualquiera que usted desee puede utilizar. So any volunteer to answer the question, how old are you? I have one, Olga Vela. How old are you, Olga? Um, I am um, uh, 60 years Or. Okay, excellent. Then Olga says, I'm 60. I'm 60 years old. Excellent answer. Thank you, Olga. I'm 60 years old. And ya sé que es de mala educación preguntarle la edad a las mujeres, pero acá para practicar, we need to do that. Es necesario. Después de los gente ya no se dice la edad. X, X, X. X, X, X. Mienten. Mienten. Dice, teacher, in this case, can I use around? Oh, okay, around. It's around 20. Ah, se usa about. Instead of about. Okay. Utilizamos esta about. About, ¿qué quiere decir, teacher? Como cerca de los, ¿verdad? She is ten. about ten. Cerca. Ten. She's Como about ten. Diez. Tiene casi los diez, ¿verdad? Sí. 
changes Thank about you. instead of around. She's about 10. Let's continue. Any volunteer to answer the question, how old are you? Any volunteer? Oh, I have another one. Delmi Areli. How old are you? I 22 years old. Excellent. I'm 22 years, years old. I'm 22 years old. Thank you so much, Alison Angel. Now tell me, puede usted preguntarle a Alison? And say hello, Alison. Oh, hello, hello, Alison. Alison. Good how, evening. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? How, how old how, are you? It's like, how? How old how, are you? How old are you? Hello. I am 26 years old. Okay, excellent. Very good. Now, Alison, any other volunteer to answer this? I participate. Okay. I participate. Okay, Alison, can you please ask to Christopher? Oh, okay. Hello, Christopher. How how old are you? I am 25 years old. Okay, excellent, thank you. Olga, do you have a question? Conmigo, teacher, Olga. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta o quiere participar? No, oh, no. <laughs> no question, okay. No question. Okay, thank you so much. Then let's go with the next exercise. Thank you so much. So don't forget about this. If you can continue practicing or listening the pronunciation of these numbers, you can watch the video on the platform. There you have the information. Now, WH question would be, ya habíamos visto qué significaba cada una de ellas. Who, what, when, where, how, and also why. Now let's look some examples in this um, chart. So we have the first one, what's your name? So the answer is, my name is Jill. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. How are you today? I'm just fine. Who's that? He's my brother. How old is he? He's 21. What's he like? He's very nice. Who are they? They're my classmates. Where are they from? They're from Rio. What real life is very beautiful. So let's practice in this first three questions. I need to volunteer to practice in the first three questions and answer. Who wants to try? Thank you, Delmi Areli and Emmanuel. So Delmi, you ask the question and Emmanuel, you can answer them. What's your name? My name is Jill. Where are you from? I am from Canada. How are you? How, how, how are you today? I am just fine. Thank you so much. Now, pregunta Emmanuel in the next stress. Who's that? How old and what's he like? And Julia is going to answer. Who's that? He is my brother. How old is he? He's 21. What's he like? He's very nice. Thank you so much. Now, Julia pregunta la siguiente tres, the next three questions, and I need one volunteer to answer them. Just one. Okay, thank you, Alison. So, Julia pregunta, Alison responds. Who are they? They are my classmates. Where are they from? They from Rio. What's Rio like? It's very beautiful. Okay, thank you so much. Do you have any question? Okay. The pronunciation Rio is Rio. They are from Rio. Rio. They are from Rio. En este caso es 
porque es el nombre personal de esa ciudad. Uh -huh. Que río en inglés es river. Pero en este caso, como río es el nombre personal de la ciudad, tenemos uh -huh. que decirlo así. That's why. Okay. Pero si nos refiremos a río en general, sería river. Yes. River. River. Okay. Olga, do you have a question? Um, este. Yes. Um, no. <laughs> ah, no okay. question. No question. Thank you. Ah, okay. That's great. Le preguntaba porque miraba su manita alzada. Oh, do you sí, want to participate? Que quería, quería practicar en, 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 en decir ahí, leer las oraciones. Ah, okay. That's great. Um, I need the last volunteer. Any volunteer to practice with Olga? Sí. Let me see. Oh, Yvette. Here is Yvette. So, Olga, can you please ask the question and Yvette is going to answer them. Okay. What's What your name? Yo voy a preguntar o voy a contestar. Olga va a preguntar and Yvette is going to answer. Okay. What's your name? My name is Jill. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. How are you? How are How are you today? I am just fine. Okay, ahora cambiamos, ahora que pregunte y ver en las siguientes tres y responde Olga. In the okay. next three sentences. Who's that? She's my brother. How old is he? He's 21. What he like? He's very nice. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Yvette. I really appreciate your help, Yvette and Olga. Great job. Um, who are they? They're my classmates. Um, where are they, they from? They from Rio. What's Rio like? It's very beautiful. Okay, wow. thank you so much. So tell me, um, Alba, do you have a question? Sorry, tell me, do you have a question? A question, teacher. Yes, tell me what is your question. Teacher, y usted nos va a dar básico dos. Mm, I don't think so. No creo. Generalmente los cambian. Ok. Bye. Ok. Mejor no preguntaré por qué. Let's go with the next. Conversation one. We are going to use the equation that we studied before to complete this. So... Can you read the answer? Oh, he's a new student. Oh, he's a new student. What was the question? ¿Cuál fue la pregunta? Who's that? Okay, let's see. Look, who's that? Oh, he's a new student. The next. I think his name is Chien Kuo. What was the question? ¿Cuál fue la pregunta? O what is the question? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? En this? What is his name? Ok, excelente. What is his name? And the next. Chien Kuo. He's from China. Where are you from? Mm. No. Sí, esa es, es esa pregunta. Where? Where from? Oh. Pero es en tercera persona. Where from is he? Ok, where is he from? Ah, where is he from? Where is he from? He is from China. Where is he from? He is from China. Tú pronto to practice in this conversation. Look, who's that? Oh, he's a new student. What his name? I think his name is Chien Kuo. Chien Ku, where is he from? He is from China. 
So what are the to practice in this conversation? Okay, Olga and Delmi are a lead. Thank you so much. Olga, you are A and Delmi, you are B. Um, look what's, look what's that, what's, what's that? Who's, who's that? Who's that? Oh, he's a new student. What's, what's his name? Ah, uh, ¿cómo se pronuncia think? I think, I, I think. think his name is Shane, ¿cómo se dice ahí? Kuo, Shane Kuo. Shane Kuo. I think his name is Shane Kuo. Perfect. Shane Kuo, where is the from? He's from China, or China. 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 Kingu, where is he from? He is from China. Thank you so much, Olga and Delmi. Great job. Uh, I have another two volunteers, Emmanuel and Alison. So, Emmanuel, can you please ask the question? Oh, sorry. You are A and Alison, you are B. Let's start practicing. Okay, teacher. Look, who's that? Oh, he's a new student. What's his name? I think his name Chien Kuo. Chien Kuo. Where's he from? He's from China. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next exercise. So let's complete this conversation. Where are you from? Okay, let's see. Yes, where are you from is the first question. Serhat, where are you from? I'm from Turkey, from Istanbul. The second. What's Istanbul like? Okay, what's Istanbul like? Istanbul is very old and beautiful. Es una ciudad vieja y... What's the meaning of beautiful? Y hermosa. My last name is Erdogan. What's your last name? What's your last name? Okay, what's your last name? My last name is Erdogan. So, where are you from? What is Istanbul like? What's your last name? Any two volunteer to practice in this a small conversation? I have two. And Olga and Delmi Areli again. Areli, can you please? Read the A part and Olga the B part, please. Sarah, where are you from? Am I from Turkey, from Istanbul? What is Istanbul like? Istanbul is very old and beautiful. What's your last name? My last name is Erdogan. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Okay. No, es un apellido turco, así que. Uh, I don't know. Se vale. Erdogan. Se vale leerlo en español. <laughs> okay, Thank let's go with the last exercise. Thank you so much, Delmi and Olga. Let's complete the last conversation. It says, hi, John, I'm just fine. My friend Carolina is here this week. She's from Argentina. Oh, cool. She's How old are you? The first question is, How are you? Can you repeat? How are you? Yes. Are you? Hi, John, how are you? I'm just fine. And oh, cool. The second what she like? What she like? Yes, and the last one. How old is she? How old is she? How old is she? She's twenty-eight years old. To volunteer to practice in this last conversation, I have three people: Olga and Delmi Areli. Uh, Olga, you can start, please, and then Del, you are B. Delmi. Um, hi, John. How are you? 
I'm just fine. My friend Carolina is here this week from Argentina. Oh, cool. What's she like? She's really friendly. How old is she? She's 28 years, years old. Thank you so much. That was perfect. Thank you. Uh, any two volunteers? I have Emmanuel and Josue David. Emmanuel, you are A. Josue, you are B. Okay. Hi, John. How are you? I'm just fine. My friend Carolina is here this week from Argentina. Oh, cool. What's she like? She's really friendly. How old is she? She's 28 years old. Okay, that was outstanding. Thank you so much. Great, great practice. Let's see Jacqueline Campos and any volunteer to practice with Jacqueline. Thank you, Ana Guadalupe. Jacqueline and Ana. So Jacqueline, you are A, Ana, you are B. Yo, la verdad. Yes, Jacqueline. Hi, John. How are you? I'm just fine. My friend Carolina is here this week from Argentina. Oh, cool. What's she like? She's really friendly. How, how old is she? She's 28 years old. Okay, that was great. Thank you. Just stay into account the following questions. Thank you, Jacqueline and Anna. Okay. Don't forget about this question number one. What's your name? What's the answer for this question? What's your name? My name is Brenda. Okay, my name is Brenda. Thank you. How are you? Great, thank you. I'm just fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just fine. Great, thank you. Good answer, thank you. Number three, where are you from? Where I'm, I'm from, from El Salvador. In this, you can say the name of your city or the name of your country. So where are you from? You say, I am from San Salvador. I am from Cabañas. I am from Chalatenango. Or you say, I am from El Salvador. El Salvador. The next is, how old are you? How old are you? Um, I'm 30 years old. I am 22. I'm 26. I'm 26. Okay, that's great. Thank you for your answers. And the last one, what are you like? Then here you can use an adjective to answer. I like with the spend time with my son. Okay, what are you like? So in this question. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> you say I'm... I'm positive. Soy una persona positiva. Fun. I'm always happy. I'm happy. I'm nice. Y para decir que soy hermosa, teacher. I'm friendly. Sí, I'm Thank cute. You. I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. I'm cute. I'm cute. But but mostly this question is about your personality. Es acerca de su personalidad. Que okay. las puse como ejemplo, aunque es muy, no es muy común, ¿verdad? Que alguien le pregunte, ¿y cómo eres? ¿Cómo sos? O ese es, es común. In the interview job. Ah, ok. It could be, even. so I'm friendly. You say, I'm friendly, I'm positive, I'm always happy. Oh, I'm friendly, ya le he puesto otra vez. I'm kind, 
Soy amable. No soy amable. I'm nice. Soy buena persona. Pero generalmente esta pregunta la usamos para, para una tercera persona. Por ejemplo, yo le pregunto aquí a Emanuel, eh, what is Christopher like? Emanuel, what is Christopher like? Y él me he's dice, very smart. He's very smart. He's very friendly. O le pregunto a Ana, what is Olga like? Fíjense, Ana, ¿cómo es Olga? En, he's ¿cómo lovely. Está? Ok, he's lovely. He, he, Muy he's lovely. Yes, ella es cariñosa. Muy bien. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Ok. Do you have any question about the night class? ¿Qué significaba aquí? Kind, amable. I'm kind. kind. Soy amable. I'm kind. Ok, no questions. Vaya, que no me... questions. No questions. El que me vaya respondiendo se puede ir desconectando. Vamos a ver. What's your name? My name is San Manuel. Okay, My name bye is bye, 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 Brenda. My name is Rebecca. <laughs> My, name is My, name My name is Allison. My name okay. is Allison. Okay. See you tomorrow. Uh -huh. See you tomorrow. I know you tomorrow, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Have a good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye-bye, Olga. Sleep well.